My name is Carl Wallace and I am a graduate student and out here in Butcher Pen I'm the field director and I am working with the University of West Florida. This site is a known mound site that should be middle woodland period. Um, that seems like what we're finding. We, we have found some like uh, late woodland and early Mississippi and stuff here, but it's primarily middle woodland. Well, the mounds is like a, like a large earthwork. Um, we have two of them that are known here that have um, been extensively looted, but they're still pretty obvious. They go about two, three meters high of dirt and um, they're pretty grown over. And um, the time period we're looking at around here is probably maybe 600 to 1300 AD, anywhere in that range is what we're finding stuff at. In this particular field school, we're really looking at trying to train students for uh, cultural resource management work. Um, we're out here doing shovel testing, so it's kind of fast surveying, so we're digging holes and not staying too far in one spot and we're just training the students to know how to do that and so if they want to go into survey work in the future then they are have the skills to do that. Cultural resource management, it's a big um, area in archaeology, it's where most of the jobs are if you're not in academia or working for the government, um, where a lot of projects that either are on government or federal land or have or require federal money to do the project um, require a pre-survey of archaeologists to come out and make sure that we're not impacting anything that's culturally significant. So a survey is kind of a, well the one that we're doing out here is a blanket grid of um, points that were, that I pre-selected that we're going out and just digging a hole and see what we find. And we mark it down and then that's basically tells us where the artifacts are. Here it's been Mostly ceramics, shards, um, some shell, a surprising amount of shell actually for especially this far back off the bluff line we've been finding a lot of shell and some lithics, not much else than that. My thesis is primarily looking at like material distribution studies and like where highest concentration of different types of artifacts, especially if we can say what time period they're from, like if they're diagnostic, if they're decorated, if they have a certain temper then we, I'm trying to piece plot where I'm finding them on the site. And it's not necessarily fair to say that, you know, a pots or ceramics or any particular artifact equals a person being there, but it kind of does. It is a representative of who lived here and how long. And that's kind of what we're trying to get a better sense of. I did my undergrad um, for anthropology first because I didn't have an archeology span program at my university. And, but I always knew that I wanted to do archaeology and so I know that outside an academic study you can do field schools. I've done a, a few field schools. I've done one in Peru and one was a maritime study out in St. Augustine. That wasn't through school. I just I, ch I chose to go. I applied and went there. You, you can go to undergrad for archaeology but I went to graduate school for archaeology because that was the next thing, the next step up from my undergrad in anthropology and then you go through Field school's there, it's part of the requirement, and you get to pick your project from there. The whole point of doing the field school is to come out, and in our case, to come to the woods, but in other cases, go to the water, um, and be able to actually do the work instead of just talking about it in, in the classroom setting. Really, it's been a really productive summer so far. Uh, we finished my grid, which had about 250 shovel tests on it. Beginning, or it was like end of last week and now we're working completely on delineation so we're just trying to extend the site as far as we can to see where where it ends and so it's been pretty fascinating how, how much farther it's been going actually. 